on to the next question. What is this? This is a text. Text is what? One line? Mainly an image based question and they are not asking you the diagnosis. They are not asking you the best treatment. They are asking you what of these is not used. Medication least used. But before we go to the medication, let's make a diagnosis. What does it show you? It shows you that one, there is a rash. Two, it is involving the flexural area. Three, it is dark, scaly, looks like a chronic lichenified eczema in the flexures. So this is what I can just make out from the image that it is one involving the flexures, two it is a dark scaly, maybe a long lasting eczema in the patient. What could be the possible diagnosis for the same? Only thing that we read at this level under graduation, a flexural chronic like NFID eczema, the diagnosis without any doubt comes on to be adult atopic dermatitis. There is absolutely no doubt in it that it is adult atopic dermatitis. Okay, flexural chronic lichenified eczema in an adult is, 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 has to be atopic dermatitis. I'll just tell you the three stages of AD so that you can always identify whenever you have a question coming to you. One stage is the infantile stage then you have the childhood stage and then you have the adult stage. In infantile it is basically face, scalp and extensors. In childhood it is both extensor plus flexure. In adults it is predominantly a flexural rash. All right, clear? These are as per the distribution, the typical distribution of the lesion. Then in the infant, what is it going to uh, cause? It is going to cause a acute type of eruption. Acute means it will be red, it will be edematous, it will have vesicles and it will be very, very, very itchy. In childhood, it will be more of a subacute type of picture. It will be reddish brown and slightly scaly. Yes, it will be more itchy. Flexural will be more of a, since it's been there for a long time in an adult, it will give you more of a chronic, a long type of picture. So, chronic lichenified lesions. Chronic, how will it look? It will look dark, it will look scaly, dry and it will be very, very itchy. Very, very itchy. That will be the adult atopic dermatitis. This is how you will identify from the image what is the stage of the disease. Right? Now, is this clear to everyone? Should I remove it? Infantile childhood and adult atopic dermatitis and without any doubt all patients will have itch. This is the most essential criteria. Okay, this is the most essential criteria. Itch, itch, itch. Itch is a disease, atopic dermatitis. Then how will you treat? One. cessation of the environmental allergens, house dust mites, pollens, whatever is leading to the exacerbation. Then if it is infected, then treat the secondary infections. Staphylococcal infections are very common in these patients. Thirdly, liberal use of emollients and 
moisturizers very very important fourthly you can use topical corticosteroids topical calcineurin inhibitors like tacrolimus apart from that oral steroids oral antihistamines cyclosporin okay these are the major treatment options that we have for atopic dermatitis. Other than that, the patient can also take what is the patient can also take phototherapy, which is your narrow band UVB, and there is a new drug which has just dupili momab this is a new drug which has been fda approved in atopic dermatitis severe atopic dermatitis this is anti interleukin 4 drug for severe cases of atopic dermatitis which are not responding to treatment you can use dupili momab this has recently been fda approved and it is a very probable question so please remember this dupili momab now coming back to the question clear to everyone coming back to the question medications least used emollient i just told you are very very important in the treatment of atopic dermatitis my prescription for ad would definitely involve a lot of emollients topical glutocorticoids yes Dosalpin and doxepin. Doxepin, yes. Doxepin is actually a antidepressant medicines which have a lot of anticholinergic and antihistaminergic action along with the sedative action. So what actually happens is this improves the itch plus allows the patient to sleep. So this is my tool for patients who have so much of itching that they are not able to sleep. So a doxepin tablet in the night would be the best thing for them. That is why we use this in the chronic itchy disorders. Dosalpin is not at all used. Dosalpin is not used at all in atopic dermatitis. Okay, clear to everyone? Yes, no. So you use the rest of the things, but you don't use dosalpin here. Clear? Yes, no. Yes or no. Good. So dosalpin is not used. You use this, this and this. Alright? Good.